Well, like I stated in my previous video on Feminazi Friday, I mean, not Feminazi Friday, but Feminazi Week, that I was going to be done with feminism and create, I mean, not feminism in general, just, you know, making a whole series based on feminist um, for an entire week because, you know, I got other videos that I need to make uh, that isn't based on feminism. But I did say that I was going to make um, video... I mean, a video series called Feminazi Friday, which I upload a video based on um, some feminists every freaking Friday. I'm still working on the intro, though. But, you know what? I really, really want to make this video. So, this video um, is about this girl. Who looks like she's been in a freaking... You know, who has a camera that... Looks like she's been in a freaking mirror, a mirror house. And believe it or not, it took me a long ass time to download this video. It is over a hundred megabytes, and it's only six minutes long. Now, granted, other videos on YouTube, there are far longer than hers. Like, um, you know, some I received that's 12, 13. They don't have over a hundred megabytes. Some only go as far as maybe eighty or ninety. But goddamn woman, I don't know what the fuck camera you're using, but whatever it is, it's making you look fucked up. Let's begin. Hi hey you guys, it's Jessica. So I'm gonna share my opinion, but before I do that, I just um want to remind you guys that um just because I identify uh, as a feminist doesn't mean that I share all the same beliefs as every single feminist that has ever walked the planet or is walking or sitting. But you also share the common failures as a feminist. I bet you're going to use the exact same bullshit lines that every feminist that I have ever come across with that I already debunked. You will be no different. The exception is that you have a wobbly ass camera that makes you look like you from you escaped from a fun house or something like that. That was a bad joke, but still. Um So basically, the uh yesterday, I stumbled across a hashtag called I don't need feminism in all capital letters on Twitter. So I was like, "Oh, this is weird." So I checked it out. And it was all pretty disgusting. Um, because I would never understand how anybody, especially women, would want to be an anti-feminist because they think that, like, we're equal or something, but we're not. Meanwhile, like, on the other parts of the world, there are women who are shot because they want education and they're not allowed to, you know, gain, attain knowledge and... That's not fair. That's not equal. Well, let's see. We don't see that many feminists focusing on third world countries. We, I mean, yeah, there are a few feminists doing that, but we have many, many, many feminists focusing here in America because they believe that even, you know, even here in America, they're being quote unquote oppressed because they they have a vagina they still come up with such stupid ridiculous lies such as the wage gap argument and how women are represented in the media you know coming up with crazy ideological bullshit we have radical feminists protesting against the mra and yet we you know no not we you are sitting there you know in your pretty pretty little chair of yours and, and just glamoring over on how oh i am feeling so oppressed you know we should help those women over there in third world countries by doing absolutely nothing about it can you imagine if i were to say oh those poor innocent children starving in africa i wish i could help them i know i will help them by buying food for myself and eating them. And every time I eat something, I will think of those little children starving in Africa when I could have used my money to send my, to, you know, give people 
money to help them eat some good food. Yeah, that's pretty. And that's not right. And also, there are thousands of women all over the world being sold into slavery and used for sex, and they have no control over what's happening to them. And there are still some countries where women aren't allowed to own property because in those countries, women are property. So I don't see why people would think we're equal. <laughs> you know, it's kind of ridiculous. This is coming from a cisgender white girl. You are pretty much the most privileged person right now on this fucking planet. Yeah, women are solely oppressed except here in fucking America and certain other countries. I mean, really? Uh, has, we, haven't, we haven't seen feminists take action in third world countries. They don't really care much about third world countries. They only care about the country that they fucking live in. If they feel oppressed even slightly, then you're going to say, Oh, we're not equal. We're not equal. Fuck you. Um, and especially, uh, it's just, um, that the knowledge is so available in the age of the internet that I don't see why, um, people would choose to educate themselves on topics that they choose to talk about. Maybe you should take your own fucking advice. Just saying. So, you know. It just gets me a little, uh, riled up because, ugh. And, um, there was, like, a guy on there complaining, ugh, ladies' night, scoff, ugh. you know? And it's like, consider it a payback to the years of historical oppression that women suffered. Because, I don't know, what's the big deal, like, women get half off drinks for, like, three hours? Like, is it really oppressing you that much <laughs> baby <laughs> I have such a large ass ego you boys disgust me seriously can like what a joke and meanwhile like I respect anti-feminists um, right to say things but that doesn't mean I agree with them you know I think they should have the right to say whatever they please but um I still think it's, um, kind of ridiculous, really. Um, and, and there was girls on the, um, whole anti-feminist thing being like, well, you know, ma, I, like, um, want to be a stay-at-home mom, but if you were, um, you know, a stay-at-home mom, wouldn't you want to teach your children that, um, you know, you're as important as a member of the family as, uh, your husband? You are an insult to the female gender. No, correction. The human race. I mean, wow. Wow. What you just did there was pretty darn stupid. I'll give you credit. You know, you... You do sound like one of those stereotypical girls who have no brains and just think, you know, all about penis and penis and penis. That's, you know, that's great. That's a great impression. In fact, you should be a hook. I don't know. Because... Because women and men should be equal, but that doesn't mean they're the same, you know? But, you know what I'm saying by that? Like, we should have the same, um, rights to education and the same rights to opportunity, but, um, that doesn't mean we'll ever be the same, you know? That doesn't mean what, um, in a way, like, I don't know how much of women and men, like, as two separate entities, how much of that 
is biochemical, you know? How much of that um, was shaped by society and how much was, is just shaped by um, who we were born, you know? How our minds work. Okay, I take it back. You are not, you do not impersonate a stereotypical, stereotypical bimbo who thinks nothing more about penis, cock, who worries about her own freaking looks, who speaks like some sort of dumb chick saying like, 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 um, um, like, no, 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 you do not impersonate. You are one of them. You are a dumb bimbo, a literal dumb bimbo. You shouldn't be talking about feminism. You should be giving out blowjobs. Look, I get what you're trying to say. You're trying to say that men and women should be equal, but men and women are not the same thing because they're biologically different. If you were to say that women will never, never be able to achieve um, receiving the same amount of strength as men, then I wouldn't have to say anything about it. You would actually make a point. However, you're not saying any of that. You, you just... You know, stumbling, it just continue stumbling around, you know, trying to think of something smart. And that's what a bimbo does. You are a literal bimbo. Hell, your room is entirely fucking pink. I don't know what else to say about that. But that's an interesting topic. So, um... So, respectful comments only, please. I'll reply if you, um, just put a star after your comment, and I'll reply if it's respectful. I won't if it's disrespectful, but you can disagree with me and still be respectful, you know? Well, that depends on how you define respectful, because what I'm saying right now to you is probably not respectful. My words are pretty goddamn harsh, and you're gonna have to deal with it. And respect is the most important thing. That's really the goal of everything here, is just, even though we're different, we need to respect each other, like tolerance, even though it's different beliefs, you know? Like, I don't, I'm not over here saying anti-feminists are really dumb. I disagree completely with their beliefs, but I don't think they should, like, oh, go to hell. Like, I'm not like, screw you guys, but still. So, um, hmm, I guess I could make this video a little longer. Um, hmm, sorry, I'm thinking, I'm kind of winging it, because I didn't write it all down. I was going through, uh, it in my head before I turned on the screen, and I don't have editing, so. Well, for most ranters on YouTube, they don't need a freaking script, but for you... You need a fucking script, because you don't even know what the hell you're saying. Literally. I mean, there's, you haven't even bring up any points, aside from the fact that, that, you know, women in third world countries are, you know, being shot down, being brutalized. Guess what? Feminism is not doing shit for them. And if they were, most feminists would be focusing over there. Not over here. And that's the end of the video. There's nothing more I can say. Other than, other than fix your camera, do a little bit more research, and then come back to me. And if you come up with the same crap, you know, like in every other feminist who ever made a fucking video, then you know what, I'm just gonna call out bullshit and say, you know what, you're not even worth my fucking time. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.